Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akium throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, this lesson is going to be about fucking Dalai Lama. All right. All right, uh. Slacky, hold on. All right, Slacky. But the Dalai Lama, it says right here that um, he apologizes for the video of him kissing a young boy on the lips and asking him to suck his tongue. Okay, now this happened a couple weeks ago, right? And nobody's outraged about this. Nobody's talking about this no more. Which is insane to me. This is supposed to be... This man that is revered as some type of spiritual leader, okay? And this is what they do. They, they, these dudes are pedophiles, man. These dudes are freaks. Alright? And, and, and these people are really creeps behind closed doors, man. This is really crazy. There, It's a video of him kissing a boy and asking him to suck his tongue? Like, this is insane to me, bro. Like, to me, bro, this is insane. Like, like, <laughs> and nobody's outraged about it. Like, this is who the Dalai Lama is, right? Slakia. Yeah, Joe Biden, no creepy ass but anyway this is Dalai Lama right the 14th Dalai Lama known as the uh, Tibet, Tibet, Tibetan people uh, Gaya Laiwa Lin Pochi I guess that's his name it's the current Dalai Lama also the highest spiritual leader and head of uh, Tibet all right, so he's a high spiritual leader. This is who they consider a high spiritual leader. All right, and he's influenced by Buddha. You know, our people are into Buddhism and all kind of wild crap. All right, Buddhism and all this spiritual um, uh, God body stuff. And, you know, it's really sat satanic because it's self-worship. You know, they, 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 they credit themselves on their higher learning. Okay. And this is supposed to be some type of spiritual leader of the people. All right. This is who he is to the people. This is who somebody considered him to be at a high level. And he has the power to have a child come up and kiss him and tell him to suck his tongue. This is sick. This is who people put in power, man. And I'm trying to hold back so I don't, like, you know, trip and say something, <laughs> you know what I mean, and get all worked up. But, you know, you know I'm kind of a little, you know, all over the place with this lesson so far. So like you, but, man, this is this really pissed me off, man. And nobody's talking about it. Everybody's talking about the damn fight, boxing match and all this. But this, these, he should not even be in power no more. This is... You know what, bro? You know what? This is why the Lord got to come back, man. A bunch of damn freaks and weirdos, bro. And this is who the people put in power because he's some type of spiritual leader. And he's a high-ranking spiritual leader. That's what they say. That's what they call him. Isaiah 9 and 16. It says, For the leaders of this people cause them to err. And they that are led of them are destroyed. Our people are destroyed for following the Dalai Lama. The damn Dalai Lama. Whoever this dude is, man. This so-called spiritual leader influenced by Buddha. All right? 
and 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 you know what's crazy? They've been doing this in front of people at their sanctuary for a long time. You know it has been, and nobody said anything. If it wasn't for that video, this idiot would still be doing this stuff. And all he did was apologize, and that's it. He didn't lose his power, nothing. And, and you know what? And, and you know he always, you know, I didn't see photos of him and these these uh the Dalai Lama and the priests all over the world, the Pope, things of that nature. Oh, you you know, it's it's a connection there. Freaks on freaks, man. All right. But these are the people that are people put in leadership, man. And they credit them for their spirituality. But they don't give credit to the Lord at all. At all. They, don't, they don't care about Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai at all. These are their leaders, the Dalai Lama. And he's led them to air. And they're going to be destroyed together, man. Right? Because you don't give the credit and the glory to Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Judges 10 and 14 says, Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. So the Lord's like, hey, man, you got these different gods, right? These different uh, spiritual leaders that you have. Let them deliver you in times of tribulation. Don't call on me because you don't know me. You know, the Lord ain't dealing with with, with these, uh, these, <laughs> these niggas, man. Because there's a girl. It's a, it's a girl on Instagram. She's pretty popular. She walks around with this Buddhist... Uh, um, tattoo, not tattoo, but just charm around her neck, and it's a Buddha, and you know what I mean, because that's her spiritual connection now. That's what she does. She's a she's a Buddhist, you know, because she says she's been through a lot. We'll see if Buddha can go deliver you in times of trouble, in Jacob's trouble. We're gonna see in that day, because he ain't gonna be there. All right, these so-called. Uh, the, the Allah and you know Muhammad and Jesus and all these different deities they're not gonna be there for you all right only Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna be there to deliver his people all right that's what it's gonna be Acts 5 and 29 it says then Peter and the other apostles answered and said we ought to obey God rather than men the God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hung on a tree. Him hath God exalted to be a to be with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. That's who's gonna deliver us. Yahweh why Yahweh Shai. Not Buddha, not the Dalai Lama. Not not Muhammad, okay? Not Krishna, all right? Not the Easter Bunny, none of that. Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai are going to deliver his people, the Israelites, all right, from their tribulation, all right? And it's that simple. But that 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 this right here, bro, this this really pissed me off, man. It's really, it's like, these are the people that are in power, man. They're taking advantage of these kids, man. But their reign is almost over. So with that, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai.